Let's give that the Lord a wonderful Come on, give Jesus a hand. Amen. Come on, come on, let's give Jesus a hand. You're number one. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm I'm just <laughs> taking notes and and just uh, I'm in the zone, man. I'm so happy uh, just to be here, just to meet the brothers. And uh, for those who don't know me, Bishop Charles S. Waters and uh, the pastor uh, from the New Generation Ministries in Baltimore, Maryland. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was so glad that a couple of my guys had called Deacon John Banks, which is also our media director for the church, mm -hmm. and uh, Minister Jamal Crosby, uh, which is one of the youth uh, pastors of our church. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just here to celebrate God yeah. and just to get into the mix. Amen. 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 And uh, I, I like to say this openly, and I'm pretty sure everybody hearts feel the same way, not to take up much time. But I really thank God for Dr. Lurie Williamson. Man, I really need y'all to give God some yeah. real yeah. offensive yeah. Come on, we can be better than that. A better God, a visionary of this earth. But come on, can we do this all of them? The Bible says they are in our own state. Can we do that? Come on, we can be better than that. Thank God. Dr. Lurie Williamson. I, 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 I tell you this, man, of God is awesome. Uh, one of the things that I, I just want to tag on to what he was saying, I uh, just want to give you a quick little background of, of what the Lord has done in my, in, in my life and, and my uh, marriage and, and my church and business, just like uh, Dr. Larry just uh, spoke about for us, uh, prosperity. How many of y'all, like he said before, how many believe that God wants us to be prosperous? Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 In every area of life. Yes. Amen. Amen. From yes. health to wealth. Amen. Yes. Amen. And I'm, I'm a total b believer of it. I grew up in a church, a Pentecostal church, uh, right in Baltimore. And uh, I grew up there, and I've seen the power of God fall continuously. I was sharing with my brother uh, uh, that we were just talking about how uh, the presence of the Lord dropped on me. Uh, about my burning bush experience uh, when I was a teenager and how I uh, experienced the power of the Holy Ghost, started off in the sanctuary. And uh, when I came to, I was behind the church in the sandbox. <laughs> don't ask. I don't know how, what happened. I just know the power of God. And so I. <laughs> it means like that sometimes. It means like that. You better believe it. It means like that. And, and I'm like, man, I ain't mad. I just woke up with a bunch of sand and shoes. <laughs> Whatever happens is that. You know, and so I grew up with the Pentecostal fire. I grew up with the Pentecostal anointing. The problem was, my, nobody ever told me or taught me about the key to kingdom prosperity. Mm -hmm. And so I sort of, uh, in my church, started, you know, sort of pastor. My wife, I told her about, you know, I feel as though the Lord has led me. I've been I've been uh, preaching since I did my first trial sermon. I was eight years old. My first trial sermon was in front of 5,000 people at eight years old. They had a little stool. You know? <laughs> and then I had to jump on this little stool with my little guts and preach my little arms swinging. I couldn't even, <laughs> you couldn't even see me over the, you know, over the stage, you know. And, uh, and so I, I'm like, I, I knew Bible. I knew God. I knew about the fire but I did not know anything about kingdom success. Mm -hmm. And um, it wasn't until uh, when we started our ministry, we started off in our living room, kind of like this. This is why, you know, people just, uh, you know, I, I always tell pastors, I said, don't, the Bible even said, don't despise, you know, despise not small beginnings. Because this is where we all come from, yeah, right. you know. Yes. And so, you know, my wife and I, we started off doing that. You know, we had a storefront. If you, I don't know if anybody here from Baltimore, anybody here from Baltimore City or, or familiar with Baltimore a little bit? Oh, yeah. oh kind of familiar with Baltimore. Okay, so there's a street called Pennsylvania Avenue. Okay, Pennsylvania Avenue is a hood. Okay, yeah. this, this is where you got to act the drug dealers. Excuse me, let me get into my own church. You yes. know? And this, this is where they would come. <laughs> and, you know, when they were running for the police officers, they would come and drink, bring their drug money, not knowing, kind of like what Dr. Williamson was saying, not knowing the money that we need for our little $585 rent was coming right from them. So, so they won't go to jail with the drug money. You know, God works in mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. He will cause he, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. Amen. 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 I, and so, you know, they came and um, I, I started noticing that we were shouting, we was praising, we was, I mean, we were travailing, but we wasn't seeing no success in ministry. Mm -hmm. We wasn't seeing no fruit of, the, of our labor as far as not just in the supernatural realm, 
but having kingdom ownership. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 understanding the principles of first fruits, as Dr. Williams just said. Nobody never taught me that the only thing I knew was you praise God, you shout, you scream, and it all get better by and by. There you go. Yeah. That, anybody familiar with that right there? Yeah. So I started hanging with people like Dr. Williamson, people who understand the kingdom of prosperity. And I, and I began to start listening to, wait a minute, my ministry is good spiritually we up here, but naturally we in the dumps. Right. Mm -hmm. And in order to reach the caliber of seven star people, and seven star ministry, we have to align our way up. So then I begin to shock the church. It's almost like having uh, a cold water drizzle or something scorching hot. I shock the church, meaning I, I put to the church attention. I said, it's time for your natural lives to start matching up to the supernatural. Mm -hmm. So if you can preach, prophesy, lay hands, cast out demons, that's awesome. Well, how are you living outside of Amen. the church? Amen. Amen. How are you in corporate America? Amen. Do you even have a job? Mm -hmm. you, 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 how are you support as men? How are you supporting your family? Mm -hmm. Hello, right. you, you, how many know I'm talking right? Right yeah, there, amen. Right. And so I, I shocked the church, and the Lord put some things to me. Now I want you to go to Genesis really quickly. I know we're working with time. I'm going to read two scriptures, and then uh, I turn back into the hands of Dr. Larry or the pastor. Uh, but go to Genesis chapter, this is one of my favorite scriptures, Genesis chapter uh, 1. Uh, chapter 1, if anybody can read verse 26. Chap Genesis 1, uh, 26, very familiar scripture, very familiar text. Then God said, let us make man in our own image. Yeah. According to our likeness. Sure. Let him have dominion over the fishes of the sea. Sure. Over the birds of the year. Sure. Over the cattle, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. over all the earth, and over every people thing mm -hmm. that creep on the earth. Sure. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Tw 27. So God created man in his own image. In his own image. Go ahead. In the image of God, he created him. Yeah. Yes. Male and female, he created them. Uh huh. Here it is. Go ahead. Verse 28. Then God blessed them. Uh huh. Yes. God said to them, Be fruitful. Be fruitful. And multiply. Multiply and then. Fill the earth and subdue it. And subdue it. Have dominion over the fishes yes. of the sea. Go ahead. Over the birds of the air. Sure. And over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Yes. Mm -hmm. And God said, I see, I have given you every house. Yeah. That you'll see. Yeah. Which is on the face of all the earth. Yeah. And everything whose fruit you'll see. Yeah. To you it shall be. Somebody say amen. 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 Now, I, amen. Now, I want you to look at that real quickly. And one of the things that God put on my heart uh, tonight to share is, a, as Pastor said, about the first fruits in your giving. Okay? How many of us better to give than it is to receive? Amen. 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 And as men, it's very vital for us to give. Now, I'll be honest with you. For the pastors that are in the room, if I could be just very transparent, and I want to move, and, and because this is an intimate gathering, I'll be honest with you. Many of us as pastors are not where we should be according, watch this naturally, according to where our spirits are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are we casting our demons but have no ministry success? Right. Mm -hmm. And so we always, I used to go to different churches, and I still do. I have great pastors who have thousands of members. One of my good friends is the, uh, Dr. Stephen Lowry. Uh, which is in uh, D.C., National Church of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I go down there with him, and I sit on this platform, and my jaw hits the floor. I'm like, man, this is, I'm at an 8 o'clock service, and you have like 3,000 people. Mm -hmm. How do you, you, you see what I'm saying? How do you do it? Mm -hmm. You know, I went to another pastor, who, uh, who we, uh, I keep his name uh, 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 private, but went to his church, and uh, sitting there, and I'm like, man, this is awesome, great work. He sits there, pastors, and, and he shows me the text that the secretary sent him within two services. He brought in $44,000. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, man, this is, man, we all can get some church, can't get $44. Mm -hmm. You have $44,000. Yeah, what has gotten in your people's head mm -hmm. to sow into the vision mm -hmm. that God has given his ministry? And the first thing he said, he said, we, at first, they didn't master this. Mm -hmm. they, knew, they knew nothing about giving. They, they only thing they knew was give when you can, and uh, you know it get better by and by. But you know nobody never taught them, 
And so what he began to do is teach the people. Now, nobody never taught me. And so since nobody taught me, I had to sit under people and had to get into intimate groups like this to understand. This is why, though I'm a man of God like everybody else in here, though I'm a presiding bishop, all that good fun stuff, which I really don't care about at the moment, as a man of God was speaking, as these men of God were speaking, I digest that. You see, you see what I'm saying? One thing I love about what Dr. Lurie said, don't let, don't let your arrogance and your title be your hindrance. Yes. Right. Yes. Because yes. sometimes we can get caught up on who we are outside of this. And because we're pastors, overseers, or whoever we are, whether we have two members or a thousand members, but we get so arrogant that we're unteachable. The moment where you begin to be unteachable, you will never reach a level of success. Yes. It's only those who are wise enough to sit here and say, hey, I denounce my throne. Matter of fact, I don't have a throne. Amen. I'm a permanent student. That's one of my favorite sayings. I'm a permanent student. Yes. We start out in the storefront church. I begin to preach on tithe and offering and sowing and first fruits and doing it. And then people like Dr. Williamson came into my life who taught me, him and his wife Shay, teaching me the biblical aspect of the seasons, as he just said, into receiving your... To this, if you didn't catch on to what he said uh, 10 minutes ago, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. You're in big trouble because that's a revelation. I only, I don't know if any, I, I don't know if y'all how many got it. How many, how many got it when he was talking about that? I mean, that's a major revelation. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the Lord used him. Do y'all hear what he's saying? The Lord used him to strategically give us an assignment yes, to go back to yes. our churches yes. on yes. Sundays yes. because there's a blessing in obedience. Yes. Y'all get that later on. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and yes. so when I started, I said, Lord, I know you got something better for me. Yeah. I know in ministry you got something better for me. I cannot tell y'all, and I'd be humble and say it. My, my, my men of God is with me, but tell you, I cannot tell you how many times I preach the word of God in church, on fire, suit wet, tie off, went home, and had no BGE. Mm -hmm. That's real ministry. Yes, mm. had, I had no lights, I had no electricity. Uh -huh. I'm preaching with tears in my eyes. I will preach at different churches and a place will be packed. Get hold to my own church. And I remember, and I tell the story all the time, I remember having 11 people, 11 people on a Sunday morning at 11 a.m. service when we were having a service at the Double Tree Hotel across from Hopkins University. Mm. 11 people at 11 a.m. service. And with tears in my eyes, I kept sowing. Mm. Yeah. I kept giving. I kept sowing. I kept giving my first fruits. Amen. I kept sowing. Even when I did not have it. That's right. And the enemy told me not to give it. That's right. I still <laughs> gave. And I said, one day, oh, one day, one day this old storefront preacher is going to come out and I'm going to have the Abraham blessings unlock in my life. And I will never have lack another Amen. day in my life. Amen. Amen. And we and God took us. And, and, and Pastor Larry will tell you, from a storefront church. He knows that history. From a storefront church. And, and we went from there to the hotel, from the hotel to the county, went from the county, went to another building, and said, because we were unstable. We, 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 we didn't have that, that, that mindset of, of first fruits and giving and, and give with expectation. Because many times I gave out of being nervous and out of fear. Yes. Because it, it's almost like, I hate to use the word, it's almost like sometimes we were pumped into giving. Right. Yes. yes. Right. It, as, as, as Dr. Larry talked about, you know, the hundred, you know, if you give me a thousand dollars, then I promise you five days. I had plenty of men of God pour me out. And the, I don't know, y'all probably went through the same thing. You know, you said, how many have been through that before? I like you heard you pumped into giving. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Like right. Yeah, you know, they, they, they say, you know, they point you out because you have oil. And they can see your oil. Wow. They, they point you out of the crowd and say, the Lord told me to tell you to bang on the wall five times. And in five days, after you get 5,000, your, your life will turn around. Yes. <laughs> don't make no logical sense. It don't even make biblical sense. That's right. You see what I'm saying? And God began to, to show me, teach your people. And so we sold our way out of famine. And I said, Lord, it took my wife one time, and I'm working with, and I'm one too, and I'll be honest, and I'm not trying to put a plug in here, but I will, because I think it needs to be said. I believe everybody in here, every pastor in here, if you see Dr. Williamson, in regards to getting your finances together with your ministry. All right. Mm -hmm. Because we're going to get mad at the next person who do do it and receive the breakthrough and the promises begin to unlock, and then we forgot. 
if you would have only tapped in on the mountain. That's right. Mm. That's right. When you had the prime opportunity to do so. Mm -hmm. And I begin to say, God, I believe you in faith that you will unlock the doors. Now yes. we worship and we went for that storefront. And Dr. Williams will tell you, I'm working out right now. He's going to be working with our church. And we're worshiping right now in a 47,000 square foot building. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Uh, we and just getting it. He's my peace. And work with peace by peace and link it up, watch the man of God feed us biblically and give us the keys and also a natural success. Now, I want you to look at this. Now, flip your Bibles really quickly because we're quick with time. Flip your Bibles really quickly to Luke, very familiar uh, scripture. Luke chapter, uh, what is this? Luke, Luke chapter 6. Because in Genesis, we understand that the original mindset of God was for us men to prosper. Mm -hmm. We were made to prosper. Yeah, right. Like we were born to prosper. Yes, I don't care how you look at it. I, I, and guys, I really tell you, with, with humility and love, let's stop just shouting and start prospering. Yes. Amen. Speak in tongue in, the, in, your, in your next business meeting. Mm. Amen. Huh? Yes, sir. I, I'm a business owner. How many, do I have any business owners? In, in, in my own, I'm a business mm. owner. I'm, I'm the president and CEO of King Charles Investment Agency. I go around, I buy, build, I buy houses, Buy properties, rent them out, buy businesses, IRAs, we get into all that good stuff. It's an investment company. Mm -hmm. And even before I buy the house, I pray over it. God, if this is your will. Yes, yes, yes. yes. If, if this is your That's will. And, 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 and I'll be honest with you. And, and even with that, because I understand, as Dr. Williams was saying, this is revelation. I'm, I, I hope I'm not the only one just on five for me. Anybody else feel the fire? Hey, 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 ain't, ain't nobody come all the way down here not to be on five. I mean, say amen. amen. <laughs> back, in, back in May, I, I used to work, uh, my, my history is working with uh, troubled teens. Right. So I always work with juveniles, the knuckleheads. That's that's mm -hmm. who you know. I always went from Charles Hickey School uh, to Junior Baby Bookings. They call it the Baltimore City Baby Bookings. That means when your kids get locked up, they have a jail right there waiting for. Them. Mm -hmm. Sad to say, but it's honestly not true. Mm -hmm. And back in May, uh, all of a sudden, I was the supervisor of what they call the day program, and uh, they shut it down without warning, without any notification. I heard rumors that it might happen, but nobody knew when. They shut it down. Mm. Now I'm in a position like Dr. Williamson was in where I don't know what I'm going to do. How in the world am I going to recover? What do I, I've been married for 11 years. What do you say to your wife? Mm -hmm. I don't know anybody, any married folk in here, but I mean, that's, you, you got to kind of you gotta, you gotta, gotta get it together. Because you can't just roll in the house and say, baby, I lost my job. You know, that, that ain't gonna work. I got, a, I got a strong woman. I don't know about y'all. I mean, maybe maybe y'all wives are good, but mine's kind of kind of strong now. You know, I, I, you know, my mind comes from the hardcore streets now. You know, she pretty, but she 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 a little rough around the edges. You know, and, and I said, I said, God, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I was in my car. I was in my truck, and I said, God, you are God. I said, if there was ever a time to operate in faith, we preach it. That's right. Mm -hmm. that's right. See, that's where we go wrong. Right. We yeah. preach it, but do we actually live it? That's right. that's because right. to preach it and to live it are two different things. That's right. And I went in that truck of mine, and I said, I say, God, I'm not even going to be afraid. I'm not going to walk in fear. I'm not going to walk in, in, in defeat. Let me tell you one thing. I said, God, you have given me a business mindset. I'm anointed personally. Uh, part of my testimony, I'm anointed to two things, ministry and business. Mm. I love it. I love investing. I love uh, all that going to auctions, bidding on properties. That's just <laughs> what I love to do. That's, that's what I do. I, I, love the, I love the blood, sweat, and tears of it. Yeah, and I said, God, you have given me businesses. Now, obviously, you did this on purpose because I didn't ask to be terminated. <laughs> but you did this on purpose. Obviously, you got a plan in mind. Mm -hmm. I've been sowing. I've been giving consistently. Now, I'm going to stand on my seat. Yes. And I'm, I, I, I believe that every seat that I ever sold, I now divert it to my need. My, my. So I sold my seed to meet my needs. Right. And I say, God, I thank you. And God began to say, if you put your trust in me, if you trust me enough to know I will not leave you or forsake you, and if you trust 
that as you sow into my kingdom, that you will reap a harvest in return. Mm -hmm. Then without wavering faith, I want you to stand still as he did with Moses. Stand still and I want you to see the salvation. Mm -hmm. Fellas, I stood still. That was in, in, in May, the first week of June. And do you know about uh, a few weeks later, a few weeks later, what I made in a year, I got in one day. <laughs> My yearly salary, God used a man of God to write a check and to invest into my company to get, start, get started buying properties mm -hmm. in one day. Wow. I took my family, we were living, and I think you can tell you, took my family, we were living in a, a, a nice a nice little old, uh, a rancher in, in Lutherville. Right. Mm -hmm. right, right, right. Everything was set beforehand, living nice, everything was cool. But because I believed in my first fruit seeds, mm -hmm. and I knew that as I sow, it's no way in the world God going to see my need not met. It's no right. way. That's not, he said the promises of God are yea and amen. Yes. And every seed that I sow, it will have a harvest on it. Mm -hmm. And I stood there, I said, God, I believe. I took my family recently. Am I telling you things? I took my family recently. And the week before Christmas, I moved us, I moved them into belly into a half million dollar home. Amen. Because I believe in the principles. This ain't bragging. Listen to me. I'm talking about faith even when you are blinded. Yes, right. Yeah. Even when you don't know. Now watch this. Y'all got the scripture, Luke chapter 8, right? Y'all got Luke chapter 6? Mm -hmm. 38. Give and it shall be what? Give, give, give it unto you. How? Good measure. Y'all see that? Press down. Shake it together. But look at that. Good measure. Good measure. I was uh, The devil almost had me. Because he was almost trying to tell me, there's no way you're going to recover. Oh, it's a wrap. It's, it's, it's a wrap. Your ministry, it's a wrap. I remember y'all, listen guys, I would pass this, I remember bringing in offerings of, uh, of 17 cent. Mm. Mm. I remember, uh, Dr. Larry, to be honest with you, my wife was taking her, her card, her debit card, and she was paying for us to have worship in the hotel. $350 every Sunday. Mm. <laughs> every Sunday. She would swipe her card every Sunday with tears coming out of the eyes. But she believed the same thing. That God's word will not come back void. That's so right. it comes back good measure. Y'all see it, right? Mm -hmm. Press down, shake together, and running over shall men give unto your bosom. Mm -hmm. You see that? That's right. mm -hmm. For with the same measure that ye uh, meet with all, it shall be measured unto you again. Yeah, right. I say this in close. Okay? When you give unto God, when you give unto God, and we were talking about kingdom success and kingdom authority and kingdom power. Just know that whenever God asks you to sow a seed, he has a divine harvest on his mind. I watched my church go from 11, and God is my witness, and it's still yet growing. Massively, every week, it's still growing. Every week, we've been on television for about five years now. Got a, when, when one guy, when, when my uh, uncle, my wife's uh, uncle passed away, man of God, Nicky John, came in. When I needed help with the youth department, our minister came in. And, began, and God, so God right. always will. He will never forget the seeds that you sow right. in famine. And what you sow in tears, you'll reap in joy. Amen. Come on, let's give God some real praise. Come on, let's give him some real praise.